Okay. Now we learn about what are the entries that are made in case of sales or sales return. Just like purchases, sale made for rupees ten thousand cash bank X received back goods worth rupees. 500 from X. Let's see them one by one. Sale made for rupees 10,000 cash and bank. Actually, cash and bank, I'll take them together. So, when you make a sale for rupees 10,000 and you get cash or bank, there are two accounts which are involved. Quickly identify them. Yes, you are correct. One is cash or bank account and the second is sale account. Okay. Now, when you do a sale for cash or bank, you will receive either cash or you will get a check which you put in your bank account. Both these are asset account. There is an increase in the asset account and we know that an increase in an asset account is debited. So, I will debit cash stroke bank by 10,000 to which is the other account of course the sales account sales is what sales is an income account so sales is an income account as I said increase in income is what increase in revenue or income is credited right so we credit sales account and the narration will be what being sales made for cash bank or whatever now what happens in case you make a sale on credit so when I sell goods to X, X becomes my debtor or I have to receive money from him. So X is basically an asset for me. The value of X hitherto was zero, but now he is going to have 10,000 because he has to pay me 10,000. An increase in an asset is what? Debited. So what do I do? In this case, I debit X to sales account the next one is received back goods worth rupees 500 from X so out of the sales that I had done here X came back and said I don't require these goods of 500 so X is an asset once he returns the goods what happens is I need to get less money from him. So his value or his number is being reduced. So an asset is reduced. So what do you do when the asset is reduced? You credit the asset by 500. And what will happen is you will get back these goods from X. Now, when you did the sales, basically you credited it to the sales account. So the simpler thing will be you debit it to the sales account, thereby reducing the balance. But as in case of purchases, you debit it to sales return account. Now, sales is an income account. When it gets reduced, you debit it. Right?